Hi there, in this video I'm going to show that we can build up our simple gates using just one gate called an AND gate. Okay, so I'll start off and I'll just use what they have um, uh, down here. So I'll take an AND gate from here and I'll make it a 2 input. And I can connect it up and I can find the truth table from the little simulation tool. Okay, so put a couple of inputs in. And an output. Okay, now there's a neat way you can do it. You can get into project and analyze circuit. So if we analyze that circuit, we can go to table and that gives you the truth table. So that gives you the truth table of a, an AND gate. Okay, we don't get an output if both inputs are high, otherwise, we will get an output. Okay, now we can use that NAND gate and we can produce a NOT gate from it, if we connect these two together, it means we can get rid of this here, and that little realisation will be a NOT gate, and you can see that if you get into Analyze Circuit, and go to the table, and then for, yeah, for me, when A is a 0, the output is a 1, when A is a 1, the output is a 0, okay, so it just inverts the input, okay, so that's a simple NOT gate, and you can also produce an AND gate, and sorry, an AND gate, oh, I'll just do that just now, and it's quite obvious that we can produce an AND gate by inverting output of the NAND gate, okay, so I'll just do that now, and we'll just get the truth table out so you can see it. I'll pick out this NOT gate here, obviously we could just put another realisation of the NOT gate in here, use the, the, the NAND version of the NOT gate, but we know we can do that, so we'll just leave it and we'll just put in this NOT gate here. Okay, so when I get into Project, Analyze Circuit, put the truth table, and there we go, we'll get the truth table for an AND gate, and we get an output high when both A and B are high, and otherwise we get a low output. Okay, so that's the and gate. So another couple of gates to look at now and we'll look at the producing the OR gate. Okay, so get my stuff fixed out here, right? If we take a copy of this, control D, the NOT gate, I'll take another one there. Okay, and what we do is we invert the inputs here. So the inputs get inverted. Just bear with me while I build this up. Okay, so we in invert the inputs here and we can get rid of this here. Now that there is a realization for an OR gate and you can see that if you look at the analyze circuit. Of course you can follow it through yourself and put in the ones and zeros and you can create the truth table for yourself. It's quite straightforward doing that. Uh, so we analyze the circuit, we can see that's an OR gate, so if both of them are zeros, inputs are zeros, we get an output of zero, uh, either A or B or both are high, then we get a high output, okay? So that's the OR gate, and the last one we're going to look at is the exclusive OR gate, and I'll just, I'll just delete this off and I'll rebuild it, it's easier rebuilding it. So we'll take a MAN gate, and again we'll put it, make it a, a two input MAN gate. Okay, and then we'll copy, copy is con control D, and control D again. Okay, we'll take the outputs from here and feed them into the input. Okay, so if you hear any strange noises in the background, that's my two year old uh, baby. Okay, so don't worry about that. Okay. Now, we need a couple of NOT gates. There's one there. And control D. Okay, and we take the this pin here. It's fed into here. 
and this pin here gets fed into here. Okay, and we'll put the input pins here. One there. That's another input. And finally the output. Okay, so that's the um, NAND implementation of the exclusive OR. We can see that if we go into the analyze circuit and you check on the table there, you can see that that there is an exclusive OR. Um, we only get a, a high output of either um, A or B is high. So if both of them are high, then we get a low output. If both of them are low, we get a high output. Okay, so that's us built up four basic gates, the the, the not the and the or and exclusive or from the NAND gate. Now as I said before, I could produce hierarchies for these, but I decided not to bother because the and I would just use the actual gates that are here because the functionality is the same and it just means that the hierarchy here just looks a bit neater than maybe the hierarchy I might have created. Okay, so it just makes the final design just looks a, a bit nicer. Okay, so thanks for listening. In the next video, we'll start looking at the SR latch and then the, uh, the D latch, which we'll be using for a memory cell, and we'll start building up the memory. Okay, thank you for listening. Goodbye.